Yo, I'm here at Toro's and I'm gonna do an unboxing before playing and I'm unboxing today the Mercurial Vapor 16 Elite Firm Ground in the Blueprint Edition launch um, colorway and I have the 14s, 15s and 16s to just do a quick comparison and then I'm gonna go kick around before I play and hopefully get a good <laughs> feel for how they feel and uh, then I'm gonna play and I'll put all the video together and you know I'll give some thoughts on it and uh, yeah so for the unboxing here so I could go this way and get Houston in the background here all right uh, I guess it's also in the foreground or the other shot but uh <laughs> so the box came a little beat up but make do it up. you got the paper here the Nike logo. and here they are and one of the things that i can say i'm just taking one of these this here so that it stays open um is right off the bat right off the rip they are very, the, the studs are very bright. And I like that they look clean. I've seen some of the other colorways that they've launched since this. And I, I think this thus far is the best looking colorway. And I really like how fluorescent, it's almost like a pearlescent fluorescence on the uh, front of the sole plate here, which is great. And one of the big things that Big issues that I had with the 15s. Let me use the other one. Put some gum on it. Um, is is when you look at the stud pattern, they changed the stud pattern from the 15s, from the 14s to the 15s, uh, in order to incorporate the zoom, zoom technology. You know, whatever. And uh, the, I felt as though the studs on this and the configuration, the studs individually weren't as good. They turned into these triangles, and though the back is pretty similar. Actually, the back might even be longer. But um, these are chevrons, and these are just flat. I had a lot of difficulty gripping in, in the Mercurial Vapor 15s compared to the 14s. I felt the 14s were great uh, for traction and were well balanced. I thought the 15s had considerably more comfortable upper and consistent shooting and grip on the, on the ball. But if I couldn't grip the ground, they were worth less to me than the 14s. And so I, I, my point has been that if you could take the upper from the 15s and put it on the, the sole plate or with the stud uh, configuration and you know the specific studs of the 14 that you would have a really good pair of cleats and it's I think what they've done here with uh, some tweaks so let me take both of them out and uh, also get the bag out and like I said that's far I think as far as colorways are concerned, I'm gonna put this on my head. As far as the colorways are concerned, I really do think that what has uh, what has been released after this one I don't, they don't look as good at, um, as the blueprint, which these are also the blueprint edition. You can see they have some of that orange coloration, uh, or almost orange. I don't know, maybe at one point they were, but they, <laughs> in any instance, this is considerably more orange, which here in Houston with the Dynamo is pretty appropriate. But, um, let's see. So here we go. Uh, they seem You know, these are kind of dirty, so uh, not that I mind, but because they're cleats, I play, in, play soccer in them. I don't, you know, walk around the house in them. Um, 
you can see that they all have the grip knit, right? Fly knit or whatever they're calling it these days. But um, these in comparison to these, the 15s in comparison to the, the 14s, the 14s had uh, a little, I don't know, this feels a little less tacky, a little, and as far as tack, like it grips like on the ball a little less than this does. And however, it, uh, like I said, it actually could grip the ground. Whereas these, the upper is great. They included more padding down here. And these, I can feel, it feels like even more padding. Like I, I'm suspecting these are gonna be incredibly comfortable uh, in comparison to even these, which I thought these are very comfortable other than I slip. So yeah, um, we'll look at the bottom here. And you know, in the sun, they really actually shine they glow you know and you can see the studs are chevrons right so instead of these triangles here they have the kind of older or similar to these chevrons they aren't exactly the same but i'm hopeful that even just the layout change and the style change on the on them is helpful i would even just if it's just as good as these or even a little worse it'll still be considerably better than these so that's the hope and so we'll see i'm gonna go do some kick around right now and here we can look at it this is a size 10 and a half um you can see i don't know if you can see exactly but pull them out just give me a moment you have this uh like bone print on this. So it says prototype and uh, you can see like how your foot, I suppose your bone structure is supposed to, sp supposed to fit in. I, you know, I think they're suggesting your foot doesn't go all the way, which is how I do it. I usually buy a half size up just because uh, I, I don't want to hurt my feet because I think in the long term, it may, it's, it's, you might get a little more comfortable, I mean like touch on the ball otherwise if you're, if you have really tight fitting, but that it, you know, it's not good to just cram your sh foot into a shoe uh, like that. So, uh, you know, there's not much that I can see in actual, other than the, you know, how it's printed on here. The, I don't see much difference. There's kind of some change and this is, a. Ma I don't know it doesn't feel that different once you get to this point though this ridge here feels a little different and you don't feel that anywhere but it's the same sticky kind of outer grip on both sides and around the whole thing whereas this um this doesn't feel as as sticky to me and it feels a little uh harder as a material so okay yeah See, this one says air zoom, air zoom, you just say it in different fonts. But okay, um, I'm gonna try them on and uh, do a little kick around and we'll see what happens. Hopefully that wasn't too windy. If it was, oh well, I'm not gonna redo this. So <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, this shouldn't be the end of the video. So. Okay, yo, I'm down here on the field. I've gotten the shoes laced up. And one thing I've noticed already uh, is that the laces are longer laces, so they're easier to tie. And like, they give you more, this more slack at the end, which I like. I never thought the laces were a problem in the lot. I mean, they were a little too short, but they weren't too long, which wasn't, the, that wasn't the problem. Um, they are very tight fitting, um, probably exactly how the bone kind of graphic was on the on the um, inner sole is how how it how my foot feels. They feel pretty tight. My first touch isn't a bit. I haven't been to Toros in a couple weeks because of the oh. Yeah. Um, I thought you did. Just 
looked under or through one of the holes. Um, are you playing on the house team? Arts District FC or Weaver? Okay. Um, they feel great though, I mean, honestly. The strikes on them feels like the 15s, which was better than the 14s, but the 14s weren't bad. that I can tell you. I mean, I think they dribble well. Oh, uh, play app. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll be here. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a there's a league that plays too, so okay. Um Anyway, I guess it wasn't a good shot because it didn't go in. Oh no. Uh, grips, grips the ground well so far. I, I wouldn't able to tell that there's going to be a grip issue with the last generation until actually playing a game. So I can't tell you yet because just the way you play. <laughs> uh, also, I. I haven't played in a couple weeks, but I've been playing pretty regularly. But when that generation came out, I had been, uh... I had taken a break, so... <laughs> I had taken a break. Yes, yeah, the uh, wasp season is now. Um, so, I couldn't really tell if the slipping was because I hadn't played in a couple months or if or if it was um, the cleats but yeah the strikes feel great feel really good and uh, you know I think they look good feel good so far so good Oh, that was what I was going for, except, you know, should have been a little, little tighter on the inside, put it in inside the goal. <laughs> but other than that, it was what, it was the right idea. It was poor execution, but that's what we work on out here. That's the whole point of even being out here is to improve, get some touches, enjoy yourself. Like that, that's a good one. Hopefully, I have it down a little bit. Well, let me see. Okay, good. I have it down a bit so you can see the cleats. The boots, whatever you want to call them. Here in America, they're called cleats. So, uh, <laughs> and since we're in America, well, we're in Texas. Here in Texas, they're called cleats. So, um, so yeah. I don't really have much else to add. Like, you know, they, everything feels great on them, but I won't really know completely until I play. So, huh, let's see. I'll do a, so do for soccer here. Probably should have done that before I started. <laughs> um, If you're wondering, I'm right-footed predominantly, but I actually think I'm both-footed and I just have an issue with my right leg. So you gotta be good enough with both feet anyway. Oh. Just trying to put it into the upper right-hand corner. <laughs> um, 
yeah i think that's where i'm gonna end this kick around but whatever the date is today i guess it's the august 1st 2024 uh just look for that game that'll be the game arcissure gfc on my thing if we play that'll be the name of the game so uh i'm gonna go get ready for that uh but yeah so far so good uh so far all the qualities of the 14s and the 15s that I liked combined. We will see if that plays out after actually playing in them. But so far, so good. Good job, Nike. Anyway, all right. Um, yeah, let's see how it is after the game. Maybe I'll even add in the video that I record after the game. So I'll do that, actually. So, cool. Yeah. Yo, so I'm still here at Toro's. This is going to be the after game uh you know initial impressions and the initial impressions i think for me are that they are what i was looking for at least so far um they they have the upper feeling of the mercurial vapor 15s with the traction of the 14s which is definitely important with cleats because you want to be able to grip the ground you know and they're comfortable i do think that playing on turf i'm not giving uh i, I don't get the impression how they feel on grass because also specifically this turf is kind of hard um which you know to be fair to the 15s probably if i was playing on grass they wouldn't have been as much of an issue but i can say that from the 14 to the 15 on on this kind of turf there wasn't as much grip i did slip a little bit in the portions of the field that i know are more slippery just in general so i don't i didn't ascribe any of that to the plates themselves and i felt like i was gripping the ground pretty well uh, i didn't feel hesitant to take a shot in a way that you know I felt was going to if I if I exerted hard on either leg to shoot you know as my standing leg my plant leg I didn't feel was going to slip out from under me which is important um, and you know just in general I, I I like I like the mercurials honestly um, I thought you know I have the Adidas um, even the speed boot of Adidas from the last generation and the Mi Historia Messi edition and I they're they're balanced they're they're definitely like workable and they did a good job like tiding me over until uh <laughs> Adric all right uh he just saw that the game was going on we needed players but we ultimately had enough um Anyway, uh, this is not about the game, it's about the cleats, so um, you can see from the field they're already dirty, like, you know, if you can't tell that's, that's dirt, which is, or like, you know, discoloration, but they are white cleats, so I expect that. Um, thankfully it's not rained and muddy, so, uh, you know, I, I like how they feel when shooting they feel very they feel f familiar if you like the the vapors i think you're gonna like these like if you like vapors you're gonna like these these are not a bad addition to the to the vapor line and i honestly they started doing this kind of like fluorescent almost um sole plate on last generation 15s and i like that i think they look very clearly it's not daytime and you can still see them shining like a considerable shine you know and let's see so they look nice in my opinion they they feel nice they run nice they they grip well so far uh, I one of the also one of the issues with the last 
uh, generation too is I was excited because of all the the stuff that I could feel with the upper and I didn't realize that they they had the traction issues so initially I was really high on the last generation but when I realized like oh the traction issue isn't just because I'm like coming back into playing for the first time in a bit it actually was uh, an issue consistently it, it really like um, you know I, I I was more disappointed in the last generation but so far these are great and again you can see uh, just I also want to add these like the turf really playing on this hard turf like it heats up the cleat uh, you can see the studs are already hard and like some parts have that kind of like plastic melt where like friction melt uh, which is a bit of a bummer but oh well um, to play in. There's a reason I buy these, so I don't buy them to look nice on a shelf. Um, but yeah, I mean, this has been this has been nice. I'm not gonna give them a number. Like, they're good. If uh, if I was to say recommend or not recommend, so far it's a recommend. If you like vapors, these are worthwhile getting for this generation so far, uh, based on what I can tell. Uh, I don't know how this also this kind of stud works. I don't know how it, like I still gotta do more testing, right? But I can also say that, um, I guess it would have been on this side, I'm trying to feel, I think these two studs bit into my feet on from the top side, but again, it's a really hard surface. I don't think it's gonna, I don't think these play like this on, on grass. And uh, you know, I think they're good cleats, so like I said, if you like vapors, I would recommend these. I don't think you should pass this generation up. Last generation, I don't think I would have said that. I think I would have said, wait wait for the next generation or maybe even try a different brand. But I like these, so good job, Nike. You listened, uh, at least it seems like it. And, um, you know, I think they're gonna keep coming out with a lot of different colorways. This is the launch colorway, the first, like the first one that they sold, you could only get this the first day. I like this one so far. I think it's the nicest looking one. Um, there's a black and red one that I saw that someone made like a, a mock-up of it, where it's like black with the with the red Nike swoosh instead of the way they have black on black with the shadow pack, I think they call it. Um, but, you know, I'm positive they're gonna come out with uh, colorways that are, like tons of colorways. They've already come out with like four at least. So. I can't imagine they're not going to have a bunch and probably like a customizer, so, you know, like I said, I wouldn't pass this generation up. This is a good one, so, at least so far. We'll see, but initial review is good, so unboxing and review is done. I uh, hope you enjoyed. You can watch the games if you want. They were more, more pickup style because this season has been a mess, but um, hopefully next season starts in, not next week, but the week after, and... Um, really be able to see consistently how these uh, cleats perform, how these boots perform. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed one. Catch you next time. Uh, later. Yeah.